Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance spirit has for you at the time you view this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So glad to have you. If you're returning and subscribe, thank you very much for your continued support. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? Please show Pisces very clearly what messages and guidance you have for them at the time they view this video. Please be very clear here, Spirit, what cards do you want? Show us the cards they need to see. Show us the cards we need to see. What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? Please, thank you. And we start off the reading with the Eight of Cups, Pisces. Now, somebody could have walked away from you, or this is a that you are walking away from something. Either way, this is a moving on, recognizing what is no longer serving your highest good and moving forward towards your wish fulfillment. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? Two more messages here. Then we have the sun. Whatever you are leaving behind, Pisces, you are going to a place of cleansing, of rejuvenation, where a place of happiness and youthfulness and vitality. You're putting a burden down. You're walking away and choosing light. You're choosing light over the darkness. You're coming out of a time of burden, putting this burden down. This is an active choice. You are actively choosing to no longer partake of the situation that has been burdening you. So let's see what other messages Spirit has for you, Pisces. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces for this message? Thank you so much, Spirit. And here we have Pisces. The next card is the Seven of Swords. You're walking away from manipulations, from self-serving behavior, from people who were lying, cheating, stealing. This is also your exit strategy. Your exit strategy, the plan you are creating for your life. You're taking the energy from carrying this burden and putting it into a plan for yourself to realign yourself and move you to the desires of your heart. Just as we were saying, you're walking away from darkness and you're walking towards the light. You're walking towards fulfillment, towards hope, towards a new vision for yourself, new goals, and realigning your life. You may have gotten off course a little bit. And then we have the judgment card, you're calling. This is a divine calling on your life, Pisces, a divine realignment. And then finally, we have the Seven of Pentacles. You want something that's going to have staying power. You may have been thinking about this for quite a while, but now you're moving forward. Planting seeds that nobody can plow under. So let's dive in and get clarification for you, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Cups, please? What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces? You know, I, I've, I'm really feeling here, Pisces, that some of you have just had enough of certain situations. You've given what you have. And you're, you're making the decision to change. This is moving forward into a positive new cycle. You're, this is change. This is going to be an irreversible change. And a faded and destined change as well. The Wheel of Fortune coming in there. That does speak to, you know, moving forward in alignment with your fate, with your destiny. What is the Sun card? Thank you. For the Sun, we're having the Seven Pentacles coming out twice now in the reading. This is something that you've been thinking about for a while. You may have given some significant thought to this. Let's get one more card for the Sun. And it's interesting that in order for things to grow, the Sun is required. So you, in order, f you're, you've gotten to a place, Pisces, where you can no longer grow where you're at. Your growth will be stunted because you will be remain in the shadow if you stay where you are. One more card for the sun. One more card for the sun. Thank you. Yeah, we're definitely seeing the impacts of a disappointment, the impacts of sadness, of spilled cups. You have given your all. You have given your blood, sweat, and tears to a situation. And it has not panned out. This is a disappointment. This is a sadness. This is a being let down. This is a time of recognizing that it's time to cross the bridge and go into a better time in your life. A time of renewal, a time of cleansing out 
of the old so you can grow new. This is putting down the burden so you can now have time to enter a season of growth. What is this 10 of pen wands? What is this 10 of wands for Pisces? What does Pisces need to thank you? We have, yeah, this is literally putting down the burden so you can go into a, a period of stillness where you grow. During the period of growth, if you think about plants, right? You put in the work, you've plowed the fields, you planted the seeds, right? You've planted the seeds. You're not moving the soil around while things are growing. So you're entering a time of rest, choosing to put down a burden and enter a time of rest where you will be able to grow and flourish. What is the seven of swords, please? Yeah, when Spirit wants me to restate again, that when your seeds, when your flowers, when your blossoms, when your fruits are growing, you're not turning over the soil anymore. The time of burden, the time of turning over that so soil, the time of plowing the field is done. You have done the work to plant the seeds and now it's a time of rest and allowing the growth, allowing the expansion, allowing the abundance to grow into your life. What is the seven of swords, please? So this is where you are at Pisces or soon will be is coming out of that season of plowing and now in entering that growth. What is the seven of swords? What is the seven of swords for Pisces? Thank you for the seven of swords. Not even joking, Pisces. The wheel is turning. You have a plan for your life. You've made a decision to go in the direction of your wish fulfillment. You made the decision back here wherever you are in this particular process of your life and soul's journey, the decision to turn the wheel forward, moving away from what is no longer working, what is now a shadow part of your life and moving out of that towards the sun where you will have that growth and moving forward towards your wish fulfillment, your abundance, your satisfaction and emotional fulfillment. What is the star card for Pisces? You have remained in hope and your hope will be rewarded. What is this star card? Aquarius energy. Thank you. Not even joking here, Pisces. Six of swords moving forward. Death card. This is a grand transformation. Remember how we said once you make this decision, you will not be able to go back. Once you set sail, once you decide you're going to be in this transition, you are aligning. You will not be able to unalign from this change, this transition, where you are going, nobody is going to be able to disrupt that. It's like once once you plow the field, once you plant the seed and let it there to rest and grow and expand, once that seed cracks open, you can't close it back up. And this is what's happening to you. You're transforming. You're aligning you're having a death to what and who and where you were and you're going to somewhere much more much more better <laughs> much better a much better future a much better situation awaits you pisces and and you will not be in the season of plowing the field again what is this judgment card for pisces what is this judgment card for pisces please thank you two cards let me grab the one that fell on the floor here guys hold on one second Oh, two fell on the floor. So we have the seven of wands standing your ground. This is you knowing what you want, hearing your calling, going towards your calling, guarding yourself, guarding your vision for your life, working on something, bringing together the threes are creative, the pentacles are tangible, standing your ground to bring creativity, creative solutions, and to bring things into fruition, making a choice. This is for some of you, this is coming into a, a past life relationship or partnership. But for others of you, this is about following your calling, deciding to follow your calling that you have been hearing. And this has also started when you decided to walk away from what was no longer a match for you. So what is the seven of pentacles for Pisces here, please, spirit? What does Pisces need to know about the seven of pentacles? Thank you. For the seven of pentacles, we are getting the five of wands. As you go into the season of stillness and growth and expansion and abundance, there may be jealousy and drama and people that try people or situations that try to drag you off course. This is a disruption of the soil. 
But your job during this season is to keep the soil still, to keep yourself still so you can have that growth, so you can have that fruit come to fruition. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. You are rising up into a much better place. You may be getting a promotion or being promoted or coming into abundance where you will be able to be generous of yourself, but selectively and discerningly generous of yourself. But please be very mindful of situations, people or energy around you that would disrupt your soil. I know we're talking about metaphors here, but it's, it's really important. Spirit's really getting the point across to me in this message that you have been going through trials and tribulation because that was your, your plowing and planting season. Spirit is saying you are now, it, the choice is up to you and free will is at play, but you are now in a position where you have the opportunity to move into a, a time of light, a time of growth, a time of expansion and abundance, putting the burden down, trading the burden for rest, while you're in this period of rest and being grounded, planted, there will be things that try to disrupt you, disrupt your soil, make it so you can't grow, make it so that seed can't take root and, and sprout. So please do be mindful of that. But you are in a season of transition. You have made a decision, for those of you who have done this, you've made a decision that you want better for yourself. And you're standing up for yourself and going in accordance to your soul's calling. Spirit, one love and light oracle, thank you. Walk away from illusions and toward the truth. Show me the right path, O oh Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. And this is precisely what we're speaking about here, Pisces, is walking away from illusions, walking away from darkness, walking away from, from lies, deceit, things that are illusions. And walking towards the truth, the cleansing, the vitality, the truth. This three things never remain hidden very long. The sun, the moon, and the truth. And we have the sun, the moon, and the truth. So some of you may be catalyzed by a truth being realized or a truth being revealed to you. A truth of which either a truth within yourself, realizing a truth about yourself, about a situation, or about a person, and coming to terms with that, and deciding to move on. So let's get one lucky oracle. One lucky oracle for Pisces for this reading, please. One lucky oracle. Please show Pisces exactly what they need to see. One lucky oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. So you're in a time of transition, Pisces. But what's, what's ahead is this beautiful, beautiful growth and abundance and prosperity and expansion into your wish fulfillment and alignment with your soul's purpose. One lucky oracle, please, Spirit. Please show Pisces what they need to see. Thank you so much. And here we have, you will receive a check or paper money soon. So heading into that abundance, prosperity, help your friend who is in need. He will bring you... Good luck. We're seeing, you know, being in a position where you're going to be, um, you'll be in a position where you'll be able to help others. So this is going to be good karma for you to help particular people discerningly. So you are missing many opportunities. Take advantage. The longer you stay in places and situations that are no longer serving your highest good, the more light, the more opportunities for growth and expansion you are missing. Your troubles will vanish. Happiness is ahead. This is literally what this message is saying to you, Pisces, is happiness is ahead. We see you getting in the boat of one shore being darkness and the other shore being light, which is enabling you to realign your life, your vision, your goals, your opportunities, and move towards a place that's going to be much better for you. A place of growth, a place of prosperity, a place of fulfillment. If you have a yes or no question today, the answer is yes. And the lucky number for today is 609, which reduces to a number 15, which reduces to a number 6. This is the message I have for you today. God bless.